Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look on how you can better manage your tabs in uh, Mozilla Firefox uh, using a really cool extension. And this is a really great if you're the type of person who has a ton of tabs open and you have a hard time finding the right one. Uh, uh, and for the sake of this example, I just uh, went to Wikipedia here and there's here like a random article link and I opened a couple of uh, more than a couple of articles just for the sake of this example. Um, before we jump into the, the, the tip on how you can better manage your tabs, a quick word from uh, our business sponsor today and we'll be right back. And today's video is sponsored by Klausop. Klausop is an online service tool that can help you transfer files from one cloud provider to another. For example, if you have um, your files hosted on OneDrive and you wish to switch to Google Drive, that's no problem. It's all done in three easy steps. You need to select the folders and files that you wish to transfer and then choose the destination where you want them to be copied. And that's it. You simply click start and then your files will be copied to the new cloud provider. Uh, for more information, please check the link in the description below and uh, register for free and start uh, migrating your, or transferring your files. Cool, thank you. And uh, now let's go ahead and add the extension to, to Firefox. And what I want you to do is go ahead and click on the three uh, horizontal lines on the top right okay and go ahead and click on add-ons and themes and look for uh, let's go ahead and click here one tab and click enter once you click enter on that one you'll be prompted with uh, the the results for one tab and the one that I'm going to use today in this example is the first one in our search results. It's one tab here. Click on it. And right off the start of the start, you will see that is used um, for more than 120,000 people are using it. It's installed on their browser and also has a 4.2 stars uh, rating out of five, of course. Uh, with uh, 1,855 uh, reviews. So pretty solid um, add-on, pretty popular if you uh, ask me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check a little bit the permissions because this is super important when you install an extension, always look at the permission that uh, an extension um, has access to because we don't want extensions that, uh, for example, read the data that were, um, let's say, adding in uh, different forms on, 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 on our web pages or uh, read all the content um, that we browse. So for, for this um, extension, we can see that it accesses the browser tab, which is normal because you, you see in a second what this, uh, this extension does and how it concatenates all the tabs together. Uh, so that's nothing critical. Uh, and we also see that it stores unlimited amount of client side data. And this is local, okay? Uh, which is, I'm, with, I'm, I'm also fine with this. So I'm gonna head and click on add to Firefox. Give it a second, you'll be prompt, prompted um, on the screen with uh, add this one tab extension and you again you will see the permissions that the extension will need in order for it to work so in this case access browser tabs which is fine I'm gonna click add and after a second or so you will see here will be prompted with the one tab was added okay perfect now let me click out of this page out of this as well perfect okay so the extension that we just installed the the great thing about it is that for example if you have a ton of tabs opened 
like I have on the screen, not a ton, but it's quite a lot, let's say, for the sake of this example. Uh, and if you click on it, in a second you will see that all the tabs are moved into one pin uh, tab. And now I can have like a vertical list of all the tabs that I have opened, which is really good. And what I can do from this one tab, of course I can leave it here and I can open the new one, right? I'm going to again with Wikipedia. That's that's perfectly fine. I can go here to the pin one and I see again all my tab. The great um, thing about it is that, for example, I can click on a link here and it will open it for me in the, in the browser. You see, I had eight, now I have seven. Let's do it again with another one. I have seven, now I have six. And of course, I can restore all of them. If I click here, all the tabs are now restored. If I want to add them together again, there you go. All the tabs are again here. Now, let's say you have six tabs in, 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 in this one tab um, extension and you have another free open. If I click again the, the one tab icon, in a second you will see that this free will be added also to the to, to this one tab. There we go. Now I have free. So in different instances, for example, I want to open again Wikipedia, open again CNN, let's say. If I go ahead and click again, one tab, I'll have another session, right? And one thing um, I also want to share with you, and um, this is, uh, you, the first of all, I, I love the fact that you, you have uh, one view for all your tabs and they are vertical, right? Because if you have like a million tabs here and they are very, very small, it's very hard to, to, to find, to understand the title and you have to click on each and every one to find the right one. But for example, let's say I don't want to, I don't want CNN anymore. This page, I saw it, I read it. I'm gonna close it. So I'm gonna click on this X um, icon on the left hand side and it's gone. Wikipedia, this page, the, the um, home page, saw it, I'm gonna close it. Of course, you can also do this with the whole group. Um, bear in mind that you can restore them, find them in history or um, restore the closed tab, but it's best for you to really make sure you want to delete them all when you do it. But if you say, for example, if I want to delete all these uh, tabs here, all these free all at once, I'm going to go ahead and click delete all. You'll be prompted, of course, <laughs> with a warning message. Hey, are you sure you want to delete these tabs? Yes, I'm sure. So go ahead and click OK and there you go it's all uh, they were all deleted uh, of course you can also name this tab so if I click on name this tab you can add here uh, wiki pages all right you can lock this tab and now I cannot delete them all if that's something that you really want um, and of course you have the option to restore them all and you can also start this this uh, for example if this this is uh, something that you use every day or is for work you can start it as well just to have a better label let's put it like that cool so if you found this uh, useful please make sure you give me a thumbs up that really helps the channel really helps the video if you like this and you have a friend that has like a ton of tabs please share this with uh, with with them uh, I'm pretty sure it's very useful uh, and if you like the overall content and you want more content like this please make sure you to subscribe uh, thank you again have a great one and talk to you in the next one bye